Hello YouTube and welcome to the Nerd Named Danny's first tutorial. So in this tutorial I will be showing you how to port forward for whatever reason you need to, whether it's for a game server or just playing a game or whatever it is that you need to do. So firstly what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna find your um gateway's IP address. So you're gonna do that by hitting the Windows key and R and typing it in CMD and hitting enter. Or the other way that you can do that, if you don't have a keyboard with the Windows key, you can click on the Start button and type in CMD and hit Enter. So that'll bring up Command Prompt, and you want to type in ipconfig. Then I scroll up to the very top, and at the top it'll say Default Gateway, and then it will have a number. Usually it'll be 192.168.11. In my case, it's 192.168.01 or 01 but it can vary. So once you have that number, you're gonna type it into your favorite web browser, whatever that you normally use. And it should bring up a modem configuration for whatever your router is. In my case, it's a Quest Action Tech. Um, once you're in the gateway, you're gonna wanna, it might prompt you for a password right away, or when you click on something, it might prompt you for a password. Now. If you don't know what it is offhand, then it's most likely the uh, router default. And I'll put the most common ones in the video description. Usually it's like admin and then password, or admin and then admin 123, or admin and nothing. But look in the video description and I will have the most common ones in there. So once you figured it, figured it out, it should take you to more options. More options. You need to, you need to find out wherever it says port forwarding and go to that it might be you know wherever it depends on your router but it'll be somewhere and find it it should say port forwarding or something similar now assuming you're doing like a game server or whatever and you've watched a tutorial for how to do it and it just says to port forward but doesn't tell you how it should give you a port that you need to open or er, as long as you know the ports to open you have to type in starting port and ending port. Say the port was 14902 or 14903, whatever. You should put that in both boxes. The protocol would be TCP. And the LAN IP address, to get that, we're going to go back into command prompt like we did earlier with the, with the run and then CMD. And at the top, it should say IPv4 address. 192.168.0.13 for me. You're going to enter that number in the box, whatever yours happens to be. Of course, it won't be the same as mine, but set the remote port and IP information. I don't know that you'll need to do that, but in case you do, here's what you would do. You would put the same port in each box down here, and then for the remote IP address, uh... Like mine says, use 0000 for any IP address. So I'm going to do that, but it really depends on what you want to do. If you needed to enter your IP address, you would go to, to whatismyip.com. And it's going to show you your IP right there. Just copy that and then put it in the box if that's what you need. And then click apply or okay or whatever yours says and there you go you've successfully port forwarded have fun